Don't mind. Now, these people that I'm showing you are all the kings and queens during the Hyksos period. These are not Egyptians at all. All right? These are what they call Hyksos. This is a sister, Tuyas. This is her mummy. This is her mummy. Now the embalming was, was way greater in technology today. There's no way today that you can have something that, that have, you know, that have been embalmed and tuned for over thousands of years intact like this. Y'all see that? Now let's see how she looked before she was mummified. Let's see. Your entry is not valid. That's crystal clear. That's during the Hyksos period. We were the kings and queens of Egypt during the Hyksos. It cannot be denied. So yeah, they'll tell us, well, Israelites are not written in Egyptian history. But Hyksos is. So who are they? They are shepherd kings. Look up the word Hyksos and you know they are shepherd kings. Who are the shepherds and kings? The Israelites. You can't deny that even in Egyptology. Or you can believe the story Manitos gave you. That some people came and ruled Egypt for over 200 years and disappeared off the earth and no one knows who they are. You can buy that story if you want. Or you can just go with the story in the Bible. At least it's giving you a history of some people that came there and you have history of a time period of when they left. It's easier to go with the story than trying to cover up a big fat lie. What, what historian will believe that some people popped out of nowhere, that no one, no, from no family on the earth, these people derived from? They just popped in in Egypt, uh, enough to take down all of Egypt now. It must have been hundreds of thousands of these people that no one know who they are. Shield in Egypt for over 300 years, then disappeared. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all know, you, you know you ain't right with some of y'all teachings. I don't want to go into the Bible. The Bible is a white man's book. That's the problem, brother. Instead of you going into the Bible, your teacher told you that to keep you from yourself. You never even, you never even examined the book to see if it was a white man's book. You just believed your teachers. He showed you all the Egyptian greatness and all the inventions during that time. And you got stuck in Egyptology. We're not, we're not denying the fact that there was greatness in Egypt. But there was greatness every place Israel inhabited. Why stop in Egypt? Look at the greatness here. The Egyptians didn't, <laughs> the Egyptians didn't have a capital that can go out into space. So even American technology is greater than the Egyptians now. <laughs> now there's more I got something else here look at this Hyksos queen now somebody try to get Gwyneth Paltrow from this <laughs> a Hyksos queen she's not African she's Shemitic Oh, what? Here's another lie. They, they was Asiatic. What nation is that? They use all these names to hide the fact that these people are the children of Israel. Are they Asiatic? Come on, man. Either either they're Hemetic, Shemetic, or Japhetic. That's not that, that's not muddy the waters. They even they they're from either Noah's son Ham, Shem. Or Japheth. All right. So that that proves another thing. That proves that the the Israelites must have been black, 
since we know the Egyptians are and were black. Your entry is not valid. I got something else for you. King Tut was an Israelite. If you look at his, if you look at the history of King Tut, he ruled during the Hyksos period. Can you get Charleston Heston out of that? And this sister right here, features were so defined, they had to chip her nose off. They had to chip her nose off, her features were so defined. Napoleon was behind a lot of that, shooting the nose off and knocking the noses off. All this to hide the history of the children of Israel. Hold up, hold up. Somebody get Tom Cruise out of that. And the reason we're showing this because how deep do the rabbit hole go? All the nations have conspired together to hide the fact that the children of Israel are God's people in this earth. You don't want to give us any credit, but you'll use us to build your empires. So there must be something great about us. There must be something about us that's great if every empire needs us to build. Okay? Now, the age of Imhotep compared to Joseph was skewed through Manithos. They switched the dynasty lineages so that they don't link up purposely. Now, now, there's more. Oh, they examined everything before they did it. You have question time in a moment. We're not going nowhere because we got a meeting anyway. Y'all can hang with me tonight, right? Okay.